Hello everybody. So in this video, I will make some zinc L battery which can be mechanically recharged by swapping some negative zinc slurry. And yeah, here I have my first test cell for this project. Uh, I make some really, really basic uh, zinc L battery. And you can see that here to make this cell, I use this sandwich-like cell design. Uh, here, this one is the positive current collector which is made from uh, graphite plate then the air cathode is this one and is made from activated carbon felt some separator on the top of this separator I put some negative active material which is some zinc slurry and the negative current collector is some stainless steel mesh and right now this cell is already discharged by this drone motor uh, and that I'm able to recharge this cell again I need to swap out the zinc slurry but in my case what I will do right now I will just add some new fresh zinc gel electrolytes to the negative side of the cell. So this is the stainless steel current collector and this is some used, I mean already used zinc slurry. Okay, this will be enough because this zinc air battery takes really really long time that will be discharged again. And then this zinc air battery works again. So I charge this zinc air battery with swapping, I mean with adding the fresh zinc gel electrolyte to the negative side of the cell. So everything is fine, the concept works really great, but I don't like the cell design like this one. Because I want to have some cell with this flow type design. So I will disconnect this cell from this motor and now I will make some cell with this flow system that I will be able to replace the zinc gel electrolyte with some pump the housing for this pipe flow battery will be some pipe some flexible pipe and actually the inside of the pipe will be the negative side of the battery and the outside of the pipe will be the positive side of the battery. And for this reason, into this pipe I need to make several holes that I get some connection, some physical connection between the positive and the negative side of the battery. Okay, I make several holes into this pipe and now I will make some uh, current collector, some negative current collector and this negative current collector will go inside of this pipe. For this reason I need to make some hole uh, 
like so. And the current collector which I will use for this pipe flow battery will be this. This is the current collector from some AA uh, alkaline battery. So inside of this AA alkaline battery you will find this kind of current collector. So you see. And this one I will insert into this pipe. But before I will bend a little bit like so. Okay. And now I have some current collector inside the pipe. Really awesome. Now what I will do, I will cover this hose with some separator. The separator which I will use is some filter paper. Like so. I will put some tape that this tape will hold the separator in place. Perfect. And on this separator, I will put some air cathode. The air cathode will be this activated carbon felt. And for the last, I also need some current collector for the positive side. And the current collector will be some stainless steel mesh. Now I will connect this cell to the pump to see if this one will work. <laughs> okay, it works perfectly. So the pump in this system is only needed when I need to replace the old zinc slurry with some fresh zinc slurry.
Okay, finally, after more than three hours of runtime, this cell is discharged. And now I will charge this cell with replacing the used zinc slurry with some fresh zinc slurry out from the container with the help of the pump. And that's it. Okay guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.